Hello, this is kind of continuation the last tutorial, so if uh, you don't see it, I highly recommend to go back and watch it. Alright, so, uh, here we do another thing, this is the uh, last code, so when we finish, the, finish it, we have to regulate the FPS. So as I said, we have thousands of FPS probably, because our computer works as quick as it can. Okay, uh, to do that, First, we have to uh, know something about the timers. The timers will give back the microseconds. So, uh, this is uh, stored in a u in 32 variable. This is simple an uh, unsigned integer, which is 32 bit long. So, there is nothing magical in it. It is just an integer. You have to know that. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, it is called star start, so we can call it start if we want. So the first thing to uh, we want to do is to fill this start uh, with a value in the start of the while loop. So make it start equal to fdl get ticks ticks. Okay. I want to write that. All right, and this will put the actual milliseconds, uh, so the time in milliseconds, into this start start variable. Okay, and uh, then we have to see what time does it take to go through this uh, entire thing. So handle event and do not do anything. Okay, so in here, the end of our program, we have to see that if this time which takes to go through this program is uh, less than uh, the time we should. Okay, this may not but doesn't make sense, but it will. So I define an, uh, a constant const int call it fps. So frame per secondum. Okay, for example, 30 frame per secondum. That uh, should give a correct uh, number. And whenever we want to change it, just change its number and, you know, that's it. Okay, so here we have to check that does this, does to render this frame take longer or take less than it should. So if 1000 slash, uh, so per FPS, <coughs> this simple means that uh, how many times should it c uh, give one uh, new uh, frame. So in case of 30 FPS, oh, frack it, I'm binary mode. Oh, okay, so 1000. Okay, as you can see, in case of 30 FPS, we have to give a new frame in every 33.333 second. In case of uh, 60 sec uh, 60 FPS. Oh, we have to give a new frame in every si uh, 16 second, um, 17 almost. <laughs> okay, <coughs> so yeah, that's what it means. To make uh, probably, I believe that you are familiar with uh, FPS and things like that, and you know, the basic computer skills you have before you go that far in programming. Uh, yeah, I really hope so. So, um, so our game will uh, be FPSs. Okay, so, if the if this number, so while it takes to go through this frame, is less than the number it should be, then we have to delay it. That's the theory uh, uh, yeah that's the theory under the regulating FPS so to uh, uh, so to calculate what time does it take to go through this um, program we have to uh, mm, so we have to get the uh, current time so SDL get ticks like that like that and we have to min uh, minus the start time so yeah uh, 
minus star. This will give how many uh, milliseconds does it take to go through this frame. And if it is less than it should be, then we have to delay. If it is equal or more, then we are in late or we are uh, sc in schedule. So, then we have to SDL delay. This is the delay function for uh, of SDL. We use this a lot. So, we just uh, oh, we just get the uh, time which it should take to make a frame and we just minus sdl get ticks minus start okay and simple that's it we're regulating the fps uh, for example if we don't put this if statement and uh, it comes to uh, render this frame very slowly then we would uh, then we will subtract more than this first number and we would want to delay in a negative time and that would be catastrophic to our program because uh, I think it will uh, uh, freeze the entire program if we would want to delay negative time so I hope it makes sense for you why we do that so first of all get the start time in the frame that's with what we will use to calculate how many time does it take to go through the program so and uh, then we just check that is it less than the time it should be if it is then we have to delay a little bit and probably it will give that every time we have 30 fps so our CPU usage will not be as much as as you know as it has been. Okay, now I start the program. You cannot make uh, see any difference, but I can see in my processor usage. I can see up here, uh, uh, outside of the screen. So as you can see, uh, our program is the same, although it's run at 30 FPS probably. Okay and uh, that was it and then oh actually i don't put other thing in here i just want to put this and next time we learn how to draw a square a rectangle to the screen okay thank you for watching and have a great day